Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy June 4th on this lovely Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Mario, Mark, Michael, Brian, Chuck, Fran, Tim, Ken, Boone, Lawrence, Frank, Philip, everybody. Welcome back for a lovely morning here at Cybertrain University. Beautiful day here in New York. Not a cloud in the sky. Let's try to finish early. I don't know where you are, but let's try to finish early and try to enjoy the beautiful day. Wherever you are in the neck of the woods, that's why we day trade. So uh, let's get right to it. First of all, let's start with the SOLY. We're going to talk a little bit about it, but you guys remember this one better than ever. Uh, this is a stock that we traded. went from 6 all the way to 28 in two days. Uh, looks like she's building some momentum already. Now, if you're watching in the pre-market, I did say I had a really nice Fausto flag right here. But most importantly, this stock is a level 4 to a 5. So you got to be very, very careful on it. All right. So just want to talk about that really quick. Just be very, very careful. Could hit 28 again. You know, Deb, you know what? If it does, it does. But just remember, do not go out there and trade a lot of shares of the stock. Um, this stock uh, will could, could, could make you and it could crush you. Remember... Let, let's worry about um, being more conservative than trying to be too speculative. And, uh, you know, that's why a lot of people, they, they, they get a little feisty and antsy and they want to go out there and they think they could trade something. And, you know, uh, they want to hit big. And that's why people will like veer towards, oh, penny stocks or, or you know, I get more leverage and options. It's not how you trade to be very successful. This is not a sprint it's a marathon all right uh but let's go before we go through the watch list and go through a couple of things let's talk about one of the great stocks that we had yesterday that did phenomenal and i told you this whatever goes up comes crashing down look at this beautiful stock that we had traded yesterday this gnca was just off the charts uh most of you are pretty much done uh right at the open this stock uh, if you logged in at 8 o'clock this morning, it was one of the big picks this morning. It went from 7 to 12, and then right around, you know, listen, if you got, if you just got at 8 and sold it at eight eight fifty and made 50 cents on 1,000, you were done for the day. But like I told you, whatever comes up comes, twi comes down twice as fast, and it's right back to where it started. There's your little short squeeze. So uh, listen, that's what trading's all about. It's strictly momentum. And uh, you got to know how to take the money and run. That's what it was all about there. A couple other ones. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the gold stocks moved pretty good yesterday. G-Nut. Let me bring that up. I know some of you guys did really well on that one, too. A little cheap little stock. The stock is, obviously, you could see here in the last couple of days, it's been doing really well. The stock took a very, very big hit. was as low all the way down here. Uh, these prices right around. Oops, what do I do right here? Oop, let me go back. There we go. All right, so stock has been trading at all-time lows right there. You could see it. Uh, what is that, around like 7? It was a really screaming buyer actually right there. You could see it. And, um, yeah, right around 7 bucks, I think it was, maybe less. And uh, it's got a nice little push. Started back off a little bit now, but... You know, this stock is uh, how holding pretty well. That one, we, some of you guys did pretty well. A little on the slow, slower side for us. And then the AD, uh, ADRO, uh, just want to bring that one last one up here. That stock was just a great uh, short. That stock just took a big, big hit. Um, surprising, it was not hard to borrow, which is kind of surprising. You know, usually you can't short stocks uh, under five, but some brokers will let you short it. So there we go on that one. All right, so what's going on for today? Well, you could see the big news today is uh, President Trump is actually talking right now on a live conference uh, to reporters uh, with, uh, with Theresa May. So uh, let me, let me t I just want to put my little swing on this thing. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if, the, if this whole Trump tariff of Mexico is really going to happen. I'm hearing like mixed reviews. I'm hearing from other analysts. I'm hearing from people on TV and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, listen, it's coming on the 10th. I think it might kick in and they might pull it. And if that happens, you know, we should have learned this from the uh, from the, uh, the the Christmas crash. We, we, we uh, when uh, when they when they shut down the government, we learned this what's going to happen with with China. And now we see what's happened to Mexico. So I, I they might flip right there so if that happens it might be a big big buy now we're doing pretty well on our on, on getting out of a lot of our positions it's one of the first days that are up right now in the market uh, i think they're going to talk very positive about uh england about doing some great tariffs and that uh, uh great tariffs uh great uh you know uh 
you know, helping them out and getting out of the EU and giving them maybe, I don't know, helping with their trade and everything else. So I think that's what's also helping the market. But there's a lot of other things that are moving in the market. So listen, if you're a long-term trader, that's one thing. But a couple of things I do want to keep a focus eye on. First of all, I, I want to get to Uber. If you guys have been watching Uber lately, I, I went long Uber. All right. It's break. It's starting to break higher highs. OK. The stock took a big hit, came back down. I've been watching Lyft. All right. But this is something I want to kind of stress very important to you guys. You cannot mix day trading and swing trading. This stock is not a day trade. You day trade this stock. It will destroy you. OK. Um, and, 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 you know, you know, um, when, when it comes to day trading, I mean, uh, swing trading, you could, you know, that's something you could learn how to average up. You start small, you could up your position, you could down your position. People always ask me, do you sell half, this and that? You know what? I will do that with my swing trades. I will not do that with my day trades. Day trades, I hit them hard, take the profit short, and make the, take the money run. When swing trading, you could work slow, you could, you could uh, scale yourself in, scale yourself out. But I'm just telling you right now, very important, something I was taught a long time ago, and and I don't know if I uh, said this a while ago to everyone. You cannot have a day trading account and a swing trading account with the same brokerage account. You got to have separate accounts because you'll mix and match. You you because because what as you start looking at your account manager and you're seeing your day trades and you got these swing trades. Number one, you're gonna screw up your buying power. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get stuck in these positions. You're gonna forget about the day trade. You trust me, it's a nightmare. Have it in a separate account. Don't look at it. Focus, log in and out of positions. It's a good way to police you, you know, um, and, and running your business, you know, and when it comes to trading. It's a, it's, it, it, look at this. It's two separate corporations. That's where you have to look at it. So do not mix and match. And I'm going to stress that very highly because, you know what? You want to learn a very valuable lesson? Go out there and try it and let me know how that works out for you. Best lessons to learn is losing money. That's the best lesson so you don't do that again. All right, so um, so I do want to stress that out. But you know what? If you look at those stocks like Lyft2, L-F-T, uh, L-Y-F-T, spelled it wrong. It's been actually been breaking higher highs. Stocks was at around 50, starting to move up a little bit. I don't know why Lyft is doing, you know, Obviously, uh, started off at a higher price, but I don't know. I kind of like the Uber a little bit better. So anyway, maybe Uber is sponsoring uh, the Michael. I don't know. You know what? Maybe Uber is making a lot of money and lives to make a lot of money. With uh, I heard there's like, what, a quarter million people that are going to be in London right now? Maybe a lot of people take an Uber and not want to take the bus. <laughs> you know? So uh, could be a lot. You know what? Catastrophes do make opportunities. I say that all the time. So uh, if someone sees an opportunity out there, you know, they may be trying to same, uh, uh, make some money on there. So uh, let's look at some of the other stocks. So we got Uber. We got Lyft. Let's talk about some other stocks that are doing pretty well. ATIS. Let's bring that up on a watch list. That stock had a really good pop. I don't know what happened. She just backed off. But she's still up 21%, 300,000 shares, getting some really nice orders out there. 9,700 shares sitting out there at uh, 320. I see some nice orders all over the place. So I want to keep an eye on that one. Uh, what else we got? The ATI. Oh, I spelled it out. The CTRM. So that one is up 103% so far. That stock, um, really, really nice push. A million shares were traded. She's trying to hold here. Some of you remember the stock. We did trade it back in April. The stock went from 4 to 18, back down to 4, back down to 18. You can see it right here. Let me just fix the time frame so it looks a little bit better for you. A lot of you remember the stock. We had a lot of fun with this stock. Just be very, very careful. This should t go back to your journals. You should have took very good notes. You should know a little bit more about this stock. That this stock does have uh, some nasty shakes, and uh, you know, look to me, looks like one of those famous short squeezes. PTI, another one that's up on a watch list. This stock looks a little bit better than all the rest. The stock took a big hit from five dollars, went down to a dollar. She's been a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. Four million shares traded. You know, if you're if you're an advanced trader, you could trade a lot of shares of it because you know you can get out. There's a lot of big orders out there. It will take a lot to move it, but PTI, nice little mover, and also it's a very good uh, beginner stock to start off for all you uh, beginner traders. ST, uh, what else I have over here? Uh, what is it? The I spelt it wrong. Hold on. Which one is it? 
let me start. Let me do this one instead. All right, so you got this one, the SOLY. Let's talk about this really quick. I know you guys already traded it. I told you earlier, just like I mentioned earlier, be very careful of the stock. This stock, you remember, it went from six to twenty-eight dollars, and it went right back down to twelve. Another big short squeeze. This stock is not a level one. Don't let a seventeen-dollar stock fool you. I did tell you the stock right here. Trade very, very little shares of it. Um, if it goes from sec seventeen to 20 and yet you, you had 200 shares of it you know what and he had at 20 and it goes back down to 15 and you had 200 shares i think you all could survive stock is extremely volatile big spread one of the biggest most important things we teach you at cyber trade university is not how to find and trade these stocks how to make money it's controlling losses so remember you got to know, uh, and it's all about scaling in. So, you know, as much as we killed it on this one, don't worry about guys. If you're a beginner, you'll learn how to trade the stock, you know, within time. You know, it, it, it it's patience. You're not trying to hit it all at one shot. Box is another one I want to bring up that's taking a big hit too. Box also, oh, that's the one over here. Oh, the OESX. That's what it was. OE, I thought it was an F. Here's another one that's gapping up a little bit too, moving up pretty nicely, breaking 52-week highs, up 20%. Um, got some decent amount of shares out there. Looks like a decent spread. Uh, that one looks pretty good. I want to keep an eye on that one. And then the box, which obviously is taking a nasty hit right here, not doing too well. Just broke 52-week uh, lows. You know what? If it's starting to come back a little bit, but I don't know about that. Uh, looks, it, it took a big hit from yesterday, but it's coming up a little bit right now this morning. So there's your list. It is Tuesday. It's a fun day. Uh, you know, fun day on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays where we get most of our volatility. Let's go out there and uh, make the best of it. Now, uh, remember, if you're new to Cyber Trade University, we just highly recommend tell you. Please do not trade any stocks that we show you. Remember, this is a trading room. It's not a teaching room. You just want to see people make money. You want to see what we're looking at. You're just here to look, listen, and learn. And if this is something that you want to do, which you all feel you can do, then talk to the education advisor, and we'll tell you how we can get you started. Uh, but you know what? If it's not for you, guess what? That's also okay, too, because 99% of the people are uneducated, and they learn the hard way. And what that is it? They go out there. They do it on their own. And they figure it out and they blow up their account, which I hope it won't be any of us because that's a sad day. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Let's make some money. I'll see you back at 2.30.